Supervisor, right? What's your name? Corelli. Corelli? And your last name is what? Why not? Because you work here. And I have a problem with your energy when you're unprofessional. So what's your last name? Okay. So, um, ma'am, how long... Don't consent to being recorded. What, what is... How long have you been working here, ma'am? You? I just have a question. How, how long? One year. Okay. Thank you. So, my problem with what just happened is that I've been living three blocks in here for 10 years. And if this is a policy without a pro account, why are you the first person to stop my team and my builder from coming here? when I've been coming to this particular home depot for 10 years. Make me understand that if this is a policy and you're the boss and you run this place, why are you the only one doing or living up to the company policy? Explain that to me. I can explain other people's actions. You can because they reflect you. If you're the boss and you're the manager and you say it's company policy to show ID before you swipe a credit card, unless you have a pro account, I'm asking you, and your, ta your staff and your team, these people all work for you. When you supervise, you're the manager, anything that anybody do, as far as their role, that may not have the same the particular seniority that you have. Make me understand, after 10 years of coming to this place, that the same guys swiping for way bigger amounts than this is like the smallest transaction they've done. Make me understand, in 10 years, why no one has ever asked for ID. You don't know? And you work here. And you're the supervisor. You're the cashier supervisor. Which means that when everybody do all the shopping, they got to come see you before they swipe their card, along with the rest of your team that are cashier, right? Because if it's a policy, then everybody should be living up to the policy, right? So make me understand after 10 years why this just happened for the first time without a pro account. I've not been to the store. And make me understand how you just seen me and other people that work here just seen me physically in the store. And I was just here. Sir, sir, did you just see me in the store? I gave you, no, I'm not online. I gave you that. So how did you barely look at me if, if I bought two candy bars from you? And we gave you the scanning machine. You looked me at, you looked at me, and we just did the whole transaction. And I walked out. Are you telling me you've never seen me until right now? No, I'm not saying that. I didn't recognize you. I'm not talking about recognize me as a celebrity. You do, you did see me, correct? I just want you to confirm that I was just in the store five minutes ago. You were there, yeah. I mean, I didn't know if you were there. Like Gary looked at the face. Okay. I was, I was really bringing all this stuff up, and they were handing me different things, so then you were like, oh, hey, hey, you are, so I just did it real quick so I could get back to the big data. So that's, that's why I, I, I didn't get a different picture. Regardless, he's going to ask for anything. Okay, so I just called you on FaceTime. That's not valid for my ID. No? No. That's a passport or a state ID. 
10 years coming. No pro account. I'm just trying to understand how you're the first person to say, here's the company policy and this is what we're not doing. I'm just trying to understand. And you represent the supervisor of cashier. Make me understand how all of these cashiers for the last 10 years have been swiping my credit card without me physically being here with no ID or no pro. That's the policy. Make me understand. Because them not doing that is, is not living up to the policy that you're supposed to put in place and keep in place. I'm going to tell you what this feels like. This feels like racism. And I don't pull the race card. This feels like racism. And you're not professional enough to apologize or give us better energy, even though I didn't physically came back. Your staff and employee that works with you and for you as another cash, cashier, he just seen me. I bought two candy bars. He looked me in my face. He swiped it, and I walked right out the store. Is that the policy, too, where he's going to use a scanner and pay for two candies, two candy bars, and let me walk out the store? You were with them. Exactly right, which means I That's never showed you my ID, and I never swiped my credit card, and I walked out with two candy bars. Is that but also the policy? But I saw them nod, like, oh, yes. That they nodded. Yeah. And I also just called her on the phone, and I showed her my face, told her I was just in the store, and I nodded as well. So why did you let me walk out the store with two candy bars without ID and without swiping my card? Because the, the, that was part of the whole total. I couldn't swipe it for just two things when you were adding it to the That was the whole total, but you don't even know if my credit card would actually go through. You let me walk out the store without seeing my ID or letting my credit card swipe. Is that company policy? I'm just trying to understand what sure I don't if, understand. I'm not sure if that relates oh, to what? Well, don't worry about who I am. I, I would, thank you. They're disrespecting me and my team on purpose. And I'm hammy. I'm asking you, company policy-wise, because I don't work here. And I didn't make up any of the rules. Do you let people come to Home Depot as a cashier and you scan candy bars or drinks or anything, and you let them walk out the store without paying? That's what I'm asking you. one person alone? No, I wouldn't let them Okay. I'm good, man. I'm just trying to understand why I'm feeling what I'm feeling. What happened? I mean, about the, um, were you with a customer calling or were you talking about the transaction? Yes, that was, that was me. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, and I get your point, I mean, your frustration, and I do apologize about that, but you was just following protocols. I okay, mean, I'm asking about the protocol, because I'm not, I don't work here. Got it, got it. So educate me about the protocol. Okay. I walked up to this gentleman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I grabbed two candy bars. Got it. He scanned it, yes. and I said, hey, man, they're going to finish the rest of the transaction. They got my credit card, and I left. Okay. I did not pay for my two candy bars. But you left the credit card to that person? With that them. A... I was just here with them, and this man just seen me. Oh, he scanned. Hold on. Let me finish. He scanned my two candy bars. I looked him in his face. Mm -hmm. They were finishing up the transaction, and I walked out of your store with two candy bars, no ID, and I didn't swipe my card to pay for it. And he let me leave. So then, as I left, sir, they're now here to finish the transaction because irregardless of who I am, I don't like getting attention. And I just started seeing people looking, and I was like, let me go ahead and work my way out. They've been coming here and working with me. They work with me. I don't treat anybody less than. I treat everybody with respect. They've been working with me for 10 years. I have not been in this store in probably six years. So I'm asking the supervisor, who won't give me her last name, what is the store policy that you have in place that you're supposed to implement where I'm able to scan two candy bars and walk outside without my ID and without paying for it? And he let me leave. And I'm calling you on FaceTime to say if you have an ID problem and I don't have a pro account, you're looking at me on FaceTime and I'm telling you it's me. And then you're saying the policy is I got to come in here and show my ID. So why did your why did your why did your coworker let me leave with two candy bars with no ID and I didn't swipe the credit card? If that's your policy, that's what I'm asking. If that's your policy, I'm asking you. I don't work here. I'm asking what is your policy? Uh huh. This is a reflection of you, because you're the cashier supervisor, and then you called your boss to get to the bottom of what's happening. 
So I'm asking you, as the boss of the cashiers, why did somebody on your team and staff look at me, grab the scanner out of my hand? It was over here. We gave it to him. It was like, hey, man, here. He reached over the wood and the doors and went bloop, bloop, bloop. And I said, hey, man, they're going to take care of the transaction. They got it. I'm out. You're being a racist. And that's the truth. I don't have a racist bone in my body. And you know, you got that racist energy all over you because you're not even willing to apologize, fix it, and point out the inconsistencies of what you know and your training and what the policies are. You're wrong. You're wrong, and I want your full name, and I'm gonna reach out to the people who own this place, who is my, you're, the CEO of Home Depot is my neighbor in Atlanta. Okay, so you won't, you don't have to give me a name. I'll figure it out. This is wrong, and people should not be treated this way. And if you got a policy, and you reflect the policy of this place, then the policy should be consistent with everybody that works here. Okay, you don't care, right? Because you don't. He cares. That's why he came out. You're wrong, and I came here to tell you you're wrong, and you're not even willing to apologize. Your co-star and co-worker seen me, identified me, without ID. He was like, all right, cool. I said, yo, man, they're going to take care of everything. I gave him my credit card, and I walked out. Is that the policy? To Can you please include that information? I was just there. I just walked... I was just in your store, ma'am. If you're gonna talk to your manager, if you're gonna talk to your manager, tell your manager the truth. I was just in the store and I gave my guys my credit card in front of your staff and team member and I walked off. Don't say that I'm not there with no ID. You can pull up the cameras. I was there five minutes ago. This is completely unnecessary, what you're doing right now. I'm not answering what? Do you have a pro account? Ma'am, should I have the CEO of Home Depot to call you tomorrow? Because he's my neighbor. He's my neighbor in Atlanta. You want me to get the CEO of Home Depot to call you? and tell you that this is unnecessary, what you're doing? Yep, yeah, my manager said that's fine. Okay, tell your manager I was just in the store. Do you want to tell him that part? He can hear you. Okay, manager, what is his name? Carlos. Carlos, what's his last name? That's not necessary. What? You work, you work in Home Depot. You work in a public place. You're asking me for my first and last name. I'm giving it to you, Tyrese Gibson. And those guys are my designers and builders. And I was just in your store five minutes ago. And you're on the phone with me asking for ID and you're talking to the ID. I was just in your store. This is, I, I understand policy, but you know you're being extra right now. Excuse me? This is Tyrese Gibson. I was just in your store. Okay, what is his last name? Store policy. Okay, what is your name? What is your name? My name's Aureli. And what's your last name? I'm not giving you my last name. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Okay. I like your bangs. You have a good Thanks. night. You as well. All right, Karen. I'll go back. I'll go back. Okay, Karen. Take care. I think you be sure whatever I'm <laughs> Thanks, Karen. What time do they close, Manuel? I'll be on my way. I can see in your eyes that you want me. You want me. I want you to.
Heard about the freaky things that you do The ball in your court, take a shot, baby, shoot Baby, shoot Don't hold back, cause I want you Give it to me rough like you supposed to You can do the things that you want to Say you can have my body how you want to Cause this a roller coaster, let's go up and down No, I got you up, baby, no, let me down Baby, don't let me down, need you hear my love song Screaming out your name, deep, deep, baby, pounce it This a roller coaster